Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to News OK TV. I'm Dave Morris. It's Friday, September 14th, 2012, a soggy day in Oklahoma. But here are some of the stories, headlines, and videos you can find today on NewsOK.com. Oklahoma State has a TV deal in the works with Fox Sports Network. A source told the Oklahoman's Gina Mizell the agreement is believed to be similar to the one Oklahoma announced on Wednesday. The network will televise school-specific programming across Fox Sports' various regional and national platforms. It's unknown when the deal will be finalized, University officials would not comment on the agreement. Most Cowboy football fans could not watch their pokes last weekend, but one Oklahoma State fan went to great lengths to catch the game. The OSU-Arizona game could only be seen on DISH or Pac-12 networks. Joe Lee Foster called everyone she knew to find out who had the DISH network. Finally, she found someone and wrangled an invitation to the watch party. Trouble was, when she arrived at her friend's Marietta Ranch, she couldn't call anyone to open the gate. Julie left her cell phone at home. The determined Cowboys fan found an opening under some barbed wire shimmy under the fence and made her way up to the house. She's 82. She said her friends were not stunned by her determination to watch the game. Sports fans cast their vote for the Quest's winning play. The Sooners' Damian Williams, 89-yard 89-yard run, won the top spot. OU is off this weekend, but our crew will pick the top four plays from the Cowboys matchup. You can cast your vote online at newsok.com. Former Olympic wrestler Daniel Cormier will return to Oklahoma City this fall. Cormier will face former UFC champion Frank Mir on November 3rd inside the Chesapeake Energy Arena. The Oklahoma State alum says he's looking forward to the matchup. Um, it's a big fight. You know, it's the first time a, a UFC guy has come over to Strike Force. Uh, Frank's a two-time former UFC heavyweight champion, uh, accomplished one of the better uh, heavyweights of all time, one of the greatest submission fighters of all time in the heavyweight division, and and um, it's a big fight. Rain is expected to continue Friday in central parts of the state. There is a 40% chance of showers in the evening. Highs will be close to 65 degrees. Yes, 65. Saturday, a little warmer, highs in the 70s. There is still a chance for rain on Saturday and Sunday. We could see highs in the 80s on Sunday and into Monday. The Oklahoma State Fair is in town. The fairgrounds were blanketed with folks from across the state for opening day on Thursday. The festivities kicked off with a food competition and the Oklahoma's Dave Cathy was there to judge some of the culinary concoctions. You know, everything deep fried, on sticks, I mean, with bacon, without bacon, with chocolate, with, I mean, it was just, it was incredible. The fair is open from now until September 23rd. Dave and I will be out the fair today to shoot the weekly edition of News OK TV. That airs on Cox Channel 3 and 703 on Tuesday nights and then repeats throughout the week. The Greek Festival also taking place this weekend. There will be music, dancing, and of course, food. The fun begins Friday, lasts through Sunday at St. George Greek Orthodox Church. For more information, head to GreekFestOKC.com. Fish are friends, not food. The underwater Disney adventure Finding Nebo returns to the big screen this week in 3D. Also opening in theaters this weekend, Arbitrage with Richard Gere and 10 Years with Channing Tatum. That'll do it. That's a quick look at some of these stories, videos, and headlines you can find today on NewsOK.com. Have a great day and a great weekend, everyone.